G'day there, podcaster. Yeah, this one's called Mum's Love Dido's. And, um, That's a fact. It is a fact, and it's a really fun episode. Uh, so much so that um, you know, I was, I was congratulating the wider team on a, on a great show, and uh, maybe I honked their poods a little too much yeah. because it sort of it blew back on me a little bit. There was a lot of uh, pood honking. There was a lot of back slapping, high five, and, um, and but you know, it wasn't us. It was more just the callers in this show. Like there was some, there was a the. The density of wild stories. Yeah, there wasn't was even there. like it wasn't like, a special show in a sense that there was like tons of skits or like an, an amazing interview. It was more just genuinely good chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's and <laughs> and some raunchy chat. Yep, and some uh, scandalous chat. Yep, just another way of saying raunchy. Yep. You know, I don't want to get into it too much. Just enjoy the episode. Major delays at Melbourne Airport yesterday, and the reason has been revealed, Ben and Bell. Uh, a passenger walked through the security gates, mm. realised they did something wrong, and then came back out again. Oh, as in they walked through the, the like, did they walk through the exit gates? Yeah, they're yeah. going through the exit, going in the exit. You know when you walk through coming. those those automatic yeah. doors, and like, yeah. and then you get like uh, like cattle. You go through these little narrow yeah. corridors. Yeah, what is the reason of those? I think it's so they can get people to go single file, so the cameras can scan their faces. Oh, I thought mm. it was. If, <laughs> I thought it was like in a movie if someone's like running, doing a runner through the airport, then they can like shut those doors, <laughs> and then they can't get out. Maybe they can do that. I don't know. Mm. Multiple reasons. Get through the first one. Get through the second <laughs> one. Oh no! I got caught in the third chamber. So they obviously didn't know what they were yeah. doing. They went through the wrong way, realized yeah. they bypass security, then went back out. But obviously, that's going to cause a security breach because mm. they could have done anything in there. So yeah, if that ever happens, they have to lock the whole place down. You know, what if someone uh, drops something on the other side? Yeah that didn't go through security. So all the line stops and they can review all the CCTV cameras. So the the big security breach was just a false alarm. Like it was all good. Like nothing, the person was doing the wrong thing. They're just maybe a bit Mm. of an idiot. I don't know. Um, But we'd love to know this morning. Did you cause a false False alarm? alarm? Yeah, I wonder... I wonder if the person that caused all the chaos yesterday at the airport, like obviously that was just a genuine mistake. But do you think... They would have got fines. I don't know. I don't know. I suppose it's. Well, it depends yeah. if they show actual remorse and they go, oh, "I'm so sorry. I really didn't realise." And maybe, yeah. maybe on a good day, the security guards go, "I don't worry about." It. I caused a false alarm when I was younger. Um, at the airport, we got pulled into border control, like properly got pulled in, and they ripped our bags apart. But it was because I was like ten years old, and we got to the airport, and I went over and started patting the sniffer dog. Not allowed to do that. You can't do. I didn't know. I didn't know that. And because Dad didn't get all the heroin through, literally. But then (laughs) I I guess, like in some places, that people do that to distract the dog, so the person with the actual contraband can get through. So they thought that's what I was doing. I wasn't doing that. I was just patting it because it was a cute dog. But I caused a full false alarm. Um, my friend's grandfather actually. Uh, Sadly, caused a false alarm. Mm. Everyone was fine, but he uh, went into the pub. And uh, walked in and had one of those um, cool walking sticks that fold up into like, like, like a collapsible, semi- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, semi pocket size, but then took it out of the pocket and kind of was holding it like a gun because it was all collapsed. Took oh. it out, looked like a gun. Everyone freaked out, whole drama. But obviously, it was just a sweet eighty year old man. <laughs> yeah, right. Thirteen twenty four ten. Did you cause a false alarm? Kelly joins us now in Melton. What happened? Hi guys, um, I was playing bingo as a teenager with my mum on a on a holiday, and I was expecting a job interview phone call. And my mobile phone rang, and I just panicked, so I grabbed the phone because the phone going off in bingo is bad enough. Yeah. It looks from all the oldies. Yeah. But then I panicked and I ran to the closest door, which I didn't realise was an alarm door, and then I set the alarm off the whole building as well. Oh no! And then all the old people think there's yeah. a fire in their bingo room, which would possibly be the biggest disaster known to man. Yeah, Kelly, that does sound like a absolute disaster. Give us a buzz if you have got a story to share. Thirteen twenty four ten. Did you cause a false alarm? Bavna joins us now in Templestowe. Good morning. This wasn't you, but it was someone else. What happened? morning guys yes i work in a hospital um we had a patient who was being x-rayed and he um had a lighter in his pocket which he didn't tell anyone about and so when he was x-rayed the lighter came up as a gun but it was a lighter but it looked like a gun and so caused a massive security (laughs) code was it a gun shaped lighter (laughs) 
Correct, correct. Oh. Yes, yeah, so oh, obviously. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you see the gun shape lighter on an course. x-ray, you don't go investigating it. Yeah. yeah. It's a lighter or a gun, so... Yeah, the police were called and the hospital was shut down. And what did you do? Just leave him in the X ray machine that's and be like, so "Wait funny. there." Or well, yeah, they go, "Just wait a moment. We're just going to get someone to have a look at your X ray." And yes, they're yeah. I, I also like. I imagine this guy's wearing a fedora and like fingerless gloves <laughs> <laughs> when he lights up his uh, cigarettes with his you know gun shaped lighter. Lisa, in officer, good morning. Did you cause a false alarm? I did. Good morning, guys. How are you? Very Happy good, thank show. you. Oh, thank Thanks, you. Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, yeah. Lisa. Um, when, uh, many years ago, about 50 years ago, I was at a exclusive girls' private school and I was on the train going to Bendigo on an excursion and I thought it would be pretty cool to pull the emergency cord. Mm. <laughs> Always and, very cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stopped the train, uh, big panic, everything, and then I got expelled. Whoa, oh, Lisa, you oh, bad wow. girl. I know, and my parents to this day, and I mean, they've been gone many years, I still feel so guilty for <laughs> yeah. all that money, and I did that. And now I work at a private school, so I think, oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> you keep that one pretty quiet, Lisa. I, I hope once in my life I get to use that little hammer. Like, oh, just before I die, one. I just yeah. want to smash the glass well, one time. It's funny how that runs through everyone's brains. Like, imagine if mm. I pulled that or smashed that, but nobody ever acts on it, but obviously Lisa did. Tanya in Cranbourne joins us now. Good morning. Did you Good cause morning. a false alarm? Tell us. I did. Um, back when my husband was in the military, I was new to visiting him on the army base. And when I went in there one day, I noticed I, I couldn't find the, where he was. And I drove into the infantry base inside the army base because the boom gate was up. Oh. And as I was trying to exit the infantry section, I was bombarded with military police. Oh, yeah, my God. so all, all I know is when you steal a plane in Grand Theft Auto, if you go <laughs> if you go near the base, like it's like five stars instantly and all the jets come out. And so I'd imagine, yeah, so they, especially if they think that's some sort of like terrorist attack, like you've got yeah. a car bomb or something. That's real, that's real instant five-star energy. That's <laughs> yeah, a- <laughs> yeah, that's a false alarm. Um, when my, my cousin was a, was a teenager, he was, he was a little bit naughty, and um, he walked into a bank and said, Everyone get on the ground! With finger guns. And uh, <laughs> What did he expect to happen? Well, I Honestly. don't know. He's, yeah, his mum apologised profusely to everyone. But I suppose if someone screams that... Did everyone get on the ground? Uh, yes. I think, it, to be fair, <laughs> well, if someone... Pretty cool. <laughs> if, well, yeah, if you want to feel the power of it, Bill, I'm sure yeah. you'll probably get arrested. But it is like, uh, yeah, people tend to follow instructions when someone screams that in a bank. With a finger gun. <laughs> Christine in Bentley, good morning. This isn't you, but tell us about the false alarm. Yes, my daughter, when she was in primary school, mm. she was misbehaving. And so the teachers put her in a room. Mm. Of course, she had her mobile phone. Mm. And so what she decided, knowing that, you know, there's emergency services, so she called the fire brigade, the police, and the ambulance. Mail turned up at the school and said that, you know, the teachers had her locked up in a room. And, um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Did she do yeah, this, like, as a, as a, a joke? So they threatened to charge me for all the um, services, which they didn't. Oh, okay, um, that's good. Yeah. But, but did she, uh, was this her being like, nah, screw you guys, I'm going to do this to you? Or was it her honestly calling them as Honestly, a- honestly. Because, you know, when I, it's probably my fault, um, I always just say to her, you know, you've got to behave, you know, because, you know, there's, you know, trying to sort of instill. And I always said to her, you know, that there's emergency services, you know, that they can come to your assistance. <laughs> <and> <laughs> Whatever the problem. Christine, yeah. Christine, how old was she at the time? The primary school. Oh, she was only in grade three. And, oh, um, no. so she was like really... Oh, God. <laughs> I thought it was like yeah, a rebellious look, the teenager. Was, um, yeah. Confiscated and... Um, yeah, look. <laughs> That's great. Anyway. It's, a real, it's a real cry wolf situation because uh, even though she thought she was doing the right thing, you can't abuse that because then when she actually needs them, they might not. I reckon, my mum will yell at me again if I call, but I'm dying. I reckon everyone's got a story like that about their school, though. We had a kid who got expelled. for. We had the staff force come to our school because he, he called the police and said there was a murder at the school. <laughs> and what happened? The actual Star Force guy. Like no, real... Was there a murder? Why did he no, say that? No, no murder. No, he was just doing it as a stitch up. Like, it, was like, <laughs> it was like a dare at recess. Wow. You know, at the end of the day, no one's stopping you. 
from well, doing don't that. Well, do don't like, do it. Like, don't, don't, obviously don't do yeah. it. Like, it's a bad, it's a bad thing. But maybe maybe I was a different kid. Are... I used to get the back of a, a back at the back of a packet of shapes, and it says like "free call for Australia and New Zealand." I used to call that number as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even going to use my credit, and then they answer you. You, go, you probably just get <laughs> you pass it around to your mates. Speak to the man who works for Arnott. Speak to the man who works for Arnott. <laughs> Uh, Jade in St Kilda joins us now. You had an X-rated false alarm. Yes, we, I was um, had gone to see my partner who'd been away um, at sea working, so we had to um, catch up. Went through the airport, forgot I had something in my bag and uh, set off the whole X-ray machine and shut it down. Everyone was lined up. It was very busy. And she kept saying to me, are you sure you don't have any batteries? Do you have any batteries in your bag? And I said, no, I don't have any batteries. Mm. Red face didn't know what she was talking about. Then my partner looked at me and said, are you sure you didn't have any batteries? And I said, no. And then it all came to light what it was. Yeah. So they pulled my bag aside and pulled it out. She had a quick look and she goes, yes, you do have batteries. Then it took an hour and a half for the machines to get going. I was so humiliated uh... because everyone was looking. So... Oh. Yeah, so that Jade, was very so embarrassing. What, what was it? Uh, <laughs> I know what it was. An obvious, an obvious toy. Yeah, they said, so, sorry, yeah. ma'am, you've actually got to go to the right there and book this in oversized luggage. <laughs> um, you'll have to, that's an extra charge, okay? <laughs> Have you checked out whatif.com's top 10 winter weekenders yet? Yeah, heaven's a what-if tip. Bendigo is in there, Lakes Entrance, Ellie Beach. Beach. Book your winter getaway on the What If app. What If, it's Aussie for travel. How good is that news story, as a as an avid golfer, uh, that uh, in the off-season they're turning Marvel Stadium into a, like a nine-hole golf course? I didn't think there was an off-season, though, for the stadium because isn't there still, like, concerts and stuff? So. Yeah, but I think it's just, like, uh, they're not, like, fully transforming it. It's more like they're just making, like, tees and you tee into the grass. It's kind of cool. It's just, like, whenever it's empty. Yeah. So I suppose they could do it whenever North Melbourne are playing there. Ah, <laughs> oh, very good. <laughs> they're, like, trying to play. Like, hey, get off the ninth hole. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah, what are you yeah. doing over there? <laughs> it's not that funny. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. funny. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, if 610. Well, g'day, Deb from Don Vale. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. I like the double D. I'm talking about Deborah <laughs> Don Vale, of course. It's Don Vale, it's good. It's Don. It's, it's good. a great suburb. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say good morning, I like your double D. What's, but that's okay. what's, what's your uh, what's your favourite thing about Don Vale, Deborah? Um, it's a really quiet area. It's mm-hmm. a green area. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've got lots of nice local parks. And, yeah, it's lovely. Oh, wow. Well, uh, Don Vale sounds delightful, Deborah. All yes, right, let's do this. <laughs> um, when... Don't, Liam. <laughs> Should I do more? <laughs> I don't get it. We're, doing We're using D, D words, words using Bell. D words. Oh, cool. Do one. You don't get the D? <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. <laughs> oh, Deb gets it. Anyway, uh, when footy season is over, they're going to turn Marvel Stadium into a golf course. In golf, is a birdie a good thing or a bad thing? Um, it's a good thing. It's good, yeah. One under par. Uh, Melbourne's two toll roads are going up in price next month. What are the two toll roads called? Um, East Link? Mm-hmm. Yes, very good. That's I would say that's uh, the trickier one to get. Um, and... Oh, oh, just don't um, think about it too much. Uh, just <laughs> I've gone blank. No. Do you know like, the name of the freeway at least? Um, the Eastern Freeway. I've said. Mm. Mm, yeah, no, you've done that one. All right, um, it rhymes with Schmitty Link. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? It I've rhymes. Gone blank. Oh, it, rhymes yeah. with, wow. it rhymes with Schmitty Link. <laughs> Not the shitty link. Um, if you, if you, if you, sorry, if you don't get it after that, Deb, I think we're going to have to move to Peter from Long Warren. Stay there, though, because we like your vibe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you know the other one? East Link is one toll. The other toll is? City Link. He's done it. Uh, the world record for the largest sausage dog gathering is set to be broken in Melbourne this weekend. What's the German breed name for a sausage dog? Uh, Dash House. He's done it. Eminem apparently didn't go to his daughter's wedding a few days ago. Uh, which female artist did he collab with for the song Stan? Uh, 
Dido. Oh, Dido. Yes. Nice. Yeah, it's a classic. You don't think about Dido that much these days, do you? Mm. I think I have. I have too much Dido in my Spotify. My mum and love that song. Oh, mums love Dido. Oh, Dido. <laughs> my mum was a real like. She wasn't a music head. She, yeah. she never had CDs. Like she was not that kind of person. But she had a Dido white exactly flag CD. Exactly the same as my mum. Yeah. The only CD she had was yeah. a Dido CD. <laughs> Every mum frothed Dido. Well, actually, that and Robbie Williams. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, This week's cricket episode of Bluey is being described as one of the best ever and broke ratings records, Peter. Can you finish these lyrics? Mum? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I think it is. Have you seen the show? Do you have kids, Peter? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, we don't we don't have kids here yet. I mean, Ben's about to have his firstborn son in a few short weeks. But I mean, everyone knows that song. Well done, mate. Uh, very well done. Thank you so much for playing. Um, you know, we like we like talking about D's this morning. So we'll send you the Hoyt's D box. You can nice. try the new immersive experience there. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, Peter. You also get to choose the next song we play this morning. So, do you want to hear Blind Melon? <laughs> You a bit of a chiller, Pete? You like that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, look, I, I'll go with that. I'm, okay, well, look, that's, I'm not, your, I'm not that's your first <laughs> option. Or okay, yep. I think we're all kind of in the mood for yep. this now. Do you want to hear some Dido? Dido. Like there's going to be a lot of mums driving around in the rain this morning. Yeah, Maybe just winding the window down a little bit. Dido gets everyone going. Gets oh, the yeah. tradies going. Oh, yeah. Gets the gets the nurses going. Gets the radio hosts going. Gets everybody going. Gets the, the juices are flowing for Dido <laughs> this morning. Right across Melbourne. You are with Ben Lehman Bell. Good morning. My tea's gone cold. I'm wondering why. Such a euphoric song, Dido. Thank you. You are on Nova with Ben, Lamb, and Bell. Do you mean Florian Cloud de Bonneville O'Malley Armstrong? Don't say that's her real name. Is that their real name? Yeah, it's Dido's real name. What? <laughs> I love how she was like getting into the music industry and they're like, hey, hi, my name's Florian Cloud de Bonneville O'Malley Armstrong. This is my, you know, original hit, White Flag. And they're like, oh, I think we're going to need to shorten that. We're going to, we're going <laughs> to need to make Dido that. A little punchy. That though, because it's a what? D. F. C. D. No. B. O. A. I don't know. She, and she <laughs> was born in. Uh, she was born in London, England. Yeah. She's fifty-one years old. So it's a. It's a. It's an out there name. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, her husband. Okay, no, he's. I've just looked it up. He's. It's just a guy called Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I thought I was like, oh, he has a blue link, so maybe he's from a band or something as well. But yes. no, he's just his just name Rowan. Is Rowan Gavin. It's actually the most boring name Two possible. First names. And they have a son called Stanley, and she has a brother what? called Rollo. Mm-hmm. All right, we can well, go hang on. on. Hang on, hang on. The, the son's called Stan. Whoa! Whoa. Like the Eminem song that samples Dido. Exactly. That is huge. I've actually got that. Was he named after the song? Or is it about her son? That's huge. That's a big... Yeah. Whoa, never there you go, some that. Dido news for you. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting. We're about to open up the Forbidden Folder. Everybody got their keys? Yes. All yes. right, let's turn them at the same time. Now, uh, the Forbidden Folder, it's all the topics our boss has forbade us from talking about, um, but some are extra forbidden, and you know it's extra forbidden when you're doing it pre-7 a.m. to make sure no kids are hearing it. Yeah. yeah. It's a little raunchy, this one. Have you ever made a sex tape? Thirteen twenty four ten. Give us a buzz if you have. You can remain anonymous. Is it a thing that celebrities just do or do regular people make sex tapes? I feel like it's very 90s. Like, it's very, um. oh, no, you've reached over to the video shelf and you found our sex tape kind of vibe. Mm. Whereas these days... I don't know. I 
It's, uh, people... it's the Tommy and Pam. It's the Ray J and Kim Kardashian. It's the Paris Hilton and whoever that was. Because I think celebrities make them so that they get leaked and then people talk Whoa. about them. Big call. But then for a regular person to make one, they'd just be making it for, I guess, private purposes. But then I don't know. If you make a sex tape, do you just watch it? Is that what you is do? Is it a movie night? Yeah. Like, is it, right. Yeah. Is it a movie night? Do you and wa- also... Do you, in a year's time, do you watch it and go, look how young we were? Like, <laughs> I don't, no, one, no one needs to be saying that. That's the other thing. Like, I, I wouldn't get... I personally would not get turned on by watching myself. I think you'd... I find that you'd, be weird. But need, then some people might. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'd really love to... You know, you'd have to love the smell of your own brew to be like... Let's put it on the big screen. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 And also, well, I doubt it, but someone had filmed it and then uploaded it. Now that's... Well, this is true. This is true. Maybe mm. that's uh, where you get your kicks because that, you know, we know that's a thing these days. Mm. People can upload things wherever. Mm. So you guys haven't? No. Never have. Yeah, right. I haven't. Well, it felt like there was a bit of a like... weird beat. There was a weird <laughs> yeah, yeah, beat. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. No, it was just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It no, no, just felt like, yeah. I think the silence said more than your yeah. words ever will. It's deafening. It was so deafening. <laughs> That's uh, no need to say any more yeah. on that. Well, look, um, very likely that we won't get calls for this, yeah. but I would like to put it out there into the universe in the off chance that someone listening has made a sex tape. And 13, if, 24, 10. If you do get on, we will give you a luscious prize. Ooh, what do we have? Uh, well, we'll give you six bottles of wine Ooh. from right. Zonzo Estate. There and you remember, you can remain anonymous. Don't have to tell us your name. Don't have to tell us your suburb. And we'll give you the six bottles of wine and we'll go our separate ways. <laughs> 13, 24, 10. Let's go to our first caller, Ebony in Bayswater North. Good morning. Have you made one? Good morning. Yes, I have. I do. <laughs> okay, you do. So tell us about it. So uh, yeah. why why do you make one? Um, I guess my partner and I enjoy each other that much that we like to watch what we do and sometimes we'll record ourselves together or sometimes separately and send each other and it's like, it's nicer than watching porn because we watch each other. Nice. So, yeah, because we were saying before, Eb, like, it's it's fascinating to me watching yourself back and liking that because I'd be like, Ugh. yeah, it's not my favourite watching myself, but when we're together, it's different. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the thing. I don't even really like getting out of the shower and looking at myself in the mirror, <laughs> let alone <laughs> watching myself. And you know, mm. iPhones can do like 4K these days, so yeah. you're seeing everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the it's call. It's probably happening. more common than you expect. Yeah, well, that's, well, that's, yeah. With phones these days, you can record anything. So have you just got your phone like a tripod, and then that's what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. I got like an eight dollar tripod from Kmart, mm. or sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a ring light? <laughs> wow, do, Ebony. Do you ever mix it up, Ebony, and do like um the, you know, the Snapchat puppy filter just to muck around? Oh, you know? God, no. God, no. Oh, no that's good. <laughs> Is it always the same angle or do you work on getting different angles? No, nah, different angles. Wow. Wow, do you like cut them together yeah. so it's like full on like Production? edited? Nah. Nah, oh, nah, okay. it's not that. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. yeah, yeah right. Multiple yeah. angles yeah. going. God yeah, forbid right. no one ever accidentally joins your family iCloud because that could be a <laughs> bit of a worry. Anon in Bayside, good morning. You've also made one. Tell us about it. Uh, yeah, probably a couple of two or three years ago. Um, this girl that I was seeing pretty regularly but casually. Um, she still has copies of it. I don't really, I don't care for any more copies. I've seen it right. plenty of times now. Okay, okay. Right. And you're okay with her having the copies of it? Yeah, like she's still, I'm now in a relationship, but she still casually, like occasionally messages me and tells me that she's watched it. Um, yeah, right. So it's still, it's still doing nice things to her. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, and that yeah, would make, yeah. does that make you, that makes you feel good, yeah? Yeah, I guess it's, yeah. Um, and you yeah, trust her? I think, similar to the other call, I didn't like watching myself as much, but it was knowing yeah. that someone else, it was someone else with me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can't imagine your your new partner's too stoked about the whole thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, she'd be really. Is happy your partner about it. okay with that? Yeah, like she knows that it was just a, a thing that occurred a couple of years ago. She's yeah. And then does not to get too down the rabbit hole here, Anon. But then does the current partner want to make one? Are they like, oh, then maybe we should do it? Um, I think possibly. 
hopefully. Yeah. Um, probably not at the moment, but um, yeah. okay. Yeah. Don't think it's off. See where it goes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, thank you so much for the call, Emily and Glen Iris. Good morning. Uh, we're talking sex tapes this morning. You've made one. Uh, yeah, I've actually made a few. <laughs> wow. Okay. So with different people. Or tell us about it. Uh, different people, yes, and also with my current partner. And you're watching them back like the, like everyone else? Yeah, we watch them back together, but also I watch them by myself, and I'm actually a little bit different. I don't mind seeing myself. Yeah, yeah. right. Interesting. When you're watching it back, is it just on the phone, or do you get the HDMI out of your, you know? You on pl- the TV? Pl- yeah. it up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, both. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. What's the go? Is it you know are you having are you having snacks while you're watching it, or is it not that type of else, not yeah. that type of party? Um, it, I mean, I don't. I'm on the radio, so I'll just go. Um, yeah. it helps get, get you in the mood for the session. Yeah, it's okay. like a hoot. <laughs> right, right. I hope your surround sound system isn't too good because the neighbours would be. Very confused. I guess my takeaway from that is it's way more common yeah, than we absolutely. originally were thinking it is. We're the losers now. Yeah, we are losers. We just put a seal on the forbidden folder again. Mm. That was just for the six o'clock club. We're moving on. Mm. I'm moving on at least. Uh, that yeah. whole song, all you guys could talk about was a lot of off-air chat about that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and a lot yeah. of um, that was, yeah, that was nice. Of, <laughs> just heavy breathing. Well, it's just crazy when, you know, you talk about uh, someone making a sex tape and then you get full phone lines of people making sex tapes and then yeah. they're, just te- they're telling you about it. Yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah. like, what do you, you know, send it, what? <laughs> yeah, like, where is that? <laughs> no. Like, it's crazy, where, like, where do you find this stuff? Like, like, if, I, no. if I was on Google, like, was there certain, like, keywords listen, I could put in? <laughs> if you listen back to the We can give podcast. you more bottles of wine. We can, <laughs> I'll give you some stuff from so and so estate. No, if I'm you just, listen just, back to... Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> This nah, is exactly what was happening two oh, minutes ago. Obviously joking, but not really. <laughs> so, yeah. no, but you guys, oh you know what the text God. line is, guys. So just yeah, if you yeah, go, yeah. Uh, all hyperlinks welcome. Um, <laughs> you are creeps. We open the phone um, lines here. It's a trusted space. Yeah. you guys are all trying to be professional. What I was going to say is, if you listen back to the uh, on our podcast, mm. yeah. you can hear when we're doing that last segment. I'm trying to keep it moving, and you guys, <laughs> your eyes glazed over, and you're like. <laughs> Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. Ben and Bell, it never ceases to amaze me, the information that people are willing to give over on the radio. Like, mm. we throw a lot of things out there and we're like, yeah, no one's going to call for that. Even this morning, we're like, have you met us next time? And we had full phone lines and people were just happily telling us about that. It seems like quite a private thing. And we love it because, honestly, without people calling through on 13, 20, mm-hmm. 10, this show ceases to exist. Please don't ever stop doing it. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday, um, we were asking people what they stole from work. And I suppose maybe it's that thing with radio sometimes. It's like, oh, well, people can't see me, so mm. I'm just going to tell the story. We had so many people calling through at this time telling us what they'd taken. Oh, I actually used to work at Balenciaga. No one else was on the floor. Grabbed the jacket. I was like, see you later, guys. Um, <laughs> I think yeah, there's the jacket. <laughs> A signed piece of the track from the 2006 Commonwealth Games. Whoa. And then I later sold it at a garage sale for about 200 bucks. My last day at McDonald's took a few of the sauce guns, some aioli sauces, <laughs> a sneaky bag of M&M's, so I tucked it under my apron. I've been sleeping with one eye open. At the- <laughs> at a zoo, we donate mobile phones for the Jane Goodall Foundation to help save, like, chimps and gorillas oh, yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yep. Took yeah. them to EB Games, traded them, got the PlayStation 4 Pro, <laughs> um, a couple of controllers. Think and- of the monkeys! <laughs> People were laughing it up. How <laughs> hilarious. You know, I stole from a foundation. I stole from this. You know, people were donating this to charity. I stole it so I could get a PlayStation. And uh, you know, I, I did find that really funny. Uh, but I was thinking, Ben and Bell, what if this morning we called those people back because we got their numbers hmm. and pretend to be from their respective workplaces saying like, hey. I heard it on the radio. Yeah, I heard it on Nova. But we've just, you know, we want this to be a safe place though, Liam. We I know. We want people to call up and go, oh no, now they're going to dot me Bill, in. That's what friends do. It's also <sighs> a place for stitch ups. Like that time mm, I spent four hours in prosthetics about a month ago to try yeah. and convince <laughs> you I was a tradesman working at your respective places. I think that's a great idea, Liam. Yeah. yeah. So I've got all the numbers mm-hmm. uh, ready to go. Liam, I think you do the phone calls. Yeah. Do I'll, you know who your character is yes, going to be? Yes, I've got a character. Um, I've got a voice. It's okay, an authoritative of sort of boss voice that I'll use. I think first up we call 
uh, Adam, he he worked at a, a zoo, right? And people were donating their mm-hmm. phones for the Jane Goodall Foundation. He was then stealing the phones from the zoo, <laughs> and he ca- he cashed them in at EB Games so he could get a PlayStation Pro. All right, hopefully they answer. Hello, Adam speaking. Oh, hello there, Adam. My name's Michael Michaels. I'm an executive at the Jane Goodall Foundation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, it's come to my attention that you called a radio station and you stole some phones from our charity drive. Uh, not me, no. Interesting, because I, I called the radio station and asked for your details and they, they passed me your number. Yeah. Is it true you, you traded some of the phones for the monkeys for a PlayStation <laughs> 4 Pro? Uh, look, I don't think anybody's name is Michael Michael. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's bloody got me. Oh, yeah, I have... Uh, it was the name, was it? it? Was the name that was the giveaway? <laughs> yeah. That was uh, the giveaway. Almost. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, Liam. Um, just a quick question. Do you think you should change your name? No, I don't. <laughs> I, do, I think. Um, yeah, that was just a rare occasion where someone's very switched on. But most of the time, Michael Michaels is like a quite a powerful name. <laughs> so I you're think. gonna stick with I'm it. I'm sticking with the name. Yeah. Punch in the number. Okay. Wait. Who's this? This will be Matt, who stole the Balenciaga jacket. Hello, Matthew speaking. Oh, hello, Matthew. How are you doing? Good, yourself? Oh, very well. My name's Michael Michaels. I'm an executive at Caring Group. At uh, Caring Group? Yes. Um, it's, it's come to my attention that you called a, a radio station and you, you stole a garment from one of our stores. Oh, no, that was, a, that was a fake story, sorry. I just wanted to get onto the radio station. I see. Uh, we, we contacted I've... the radio station and they, they passed on your, your details. It, I mean, it is a, a rather serious I've... offence. I've never actually even worked at a designer store or a retail store, so... I see. So, you never worked for Balenciaga? No, I never worked for that store. Who, who do you work for? Uh, I'm an apprentice. Hmm. Oh, my <laughs> God. You lied to you us. You dirty liar. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. You dirty oh liar. Oh, my God. Are you saying you, you told a fake... I can't be doing that. I can't be doing that. Illegal. That should be illegal. Hey, that scared the shit out of me. Well, that's what you get for lying on the radio. <laughs> we're running hot now. Uh, if you've just joined us on Nova 100, we're calling... Calling back everyone who called us yesterday mm. at this time for what did you steal from work? Can we do Aiden who stole from Macca's? Hello. Uh, hello. Who am I speaking to? Uh, Aiden. Oh, hi, Aiden. My name's Michael Michaels. I'm an executive at McDonald's Australia. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, it's come to my attention that you called a radio station this morning. You stole some M and M's and sauce guns from one of our establishments. <laughs> he's, he hung he's up. Hung up. Oh. He's hung up. He's hung up. He, he is now barricaded in the corner of his room with two sauce guns, ready to blast anyone who walks through those doors with creamy macas aioli. Fight or flight, and he flew. <laughs> just, he ran away. Just flew. I think. I think we technically got him. I reckon we got him. We have spooked that man. <laughs> Some more bad news. Sorry to be the bearer, but toll roads, if you use them, the prices are going up 8%. Oh, are you for real? To allow for inflation. Ridiculous. That's How? just nothing is safe but anymore. I would like if when you're on toll roads, if there was like a meter sort of, you know, we need to get, we need to raise this much until the roads are paid for and then there's no more tolls. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? I'd love yeah. to see, honestly, like, have they been paid for already? Like well, they're pretty expensive, and people are using that's them. That's not why the every tolls day. are there. I don't think. I think isn't it, it is. Isn't it because it's a private company that yes. they then own it, so they can just charge you for yes. it? Yeah. yeah, it's not. It's toll not. Roads, they're they're yeah. not making the money back. Did you not know that? Oh, I thought we were trying to pay for the roads. <laughs> no, that's what taxes are for. Yeah. Well, why are we paying taxes and paying tolls? This sucks. <laughs> I mean, this su- actually sucks. So why? So the private company could just be like. Well, we're not using that road anymore until you pay us $40 like, every yes. time you go on it. It's yep. like if you ever privately own that car park that you then pay to park there as this well. This is stupid. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna start a politically charged <laughs> podcast. Why are we giving year five students fishing rod? Every year five students get in a Victoria yeah. government fishing rod, but then private companies own all the roads. I think Liam's just realising the difference between like government run businesses yeah. and, uh, and, and privately owned businesses. Just build a road, mate, and this make all the money problem. in the world. <laughs> 
I, I'm <laughs> going to become a communist. <laughs> if you didn't know, it's just going to be uh, Liam and Bell in like two months for just a couple of weeks. There is firing, Ben. No, we're not firing Ben. I mean, he's just having some paternity leave because he's having a baby. Yes. Um, speaking of the baby, pretty exciting. Um, we got the um, pregnancy photo shoot photos back. Sweet. Um, my wife, Sam, got some photos done. I mean, I know this is radio. It's a visual uh, oh, medium, but um, I do like to show them off. Um, there's a photo of her leaning, <gasps> leaning against a wall. Oh, mm-hmm. my gosh. Holding she her belly. beautiful. Um, there's one of her like in a in a full white like gown um, on the floor like kneeling down. That's a nice one. Yeah. Um, like the kind of like cardigan around the Are elbows. You, um, yeah. With it's these just photos. sorry, Belle. I just still I know I've mentioned this, but it it just it does feel like a bit of a snub that I wasn't because <laughs> yeah, I, I swear am, I yeah. swear if you mentioned nah, that you're the Godfather just... and you were so you're looking at those photos where like she's like you know it's like very softly lit and. She's in a bra and her undies. Like, you think that you should be there for that. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I'll be in my jocks and I'm just sort of like there and I'm like just sort of <laughs> yeah. holding, holding, like you're holding the stomach on one side and we're sort of linking fingers um, and no. both holding the stomach saying, we are, we, I'm the, I'm the stepdad that stepped up, you know, I'm not a step, I'm not a, I'm not a stepdad, but I'm the, I'm the God, I'm the God dad. Bless up. Um, I swear, if you if you organise a photo shoot... Mm, it's in the works. It's in the works. <laughs> All I'll say is watch this space and maybe Ew. Sam should clear her calendar out. Um, hey, look, all this speaking of babies, I think it's a perfect time to do this. What's his name? What's his name? Ben's having a baby. What will his name be? Can you guess his name? Baby name Bingo. If you can guess what I'm going to be calling my son due July 29th, so we're getting very close now. If you can guess what I'm going to call him, you get a thousand bucks. Give us a buzz, 13, 24, 10. So you just give us a name, we log that down, and then come the birth at the end of July, if it's your name that you put down, you win. We have got a big long list of all the names that are taken. Um, these are a few of them. I'm thinking Hein. Hein. Do you have a Hein in your family? Uh, no, I just like the taste of the baked beans. <laughs> 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 Hudson Harvey. I love it. That's I, a nice yeah. name. I love the name Hudson Danny. The best piece of advice I can give you: mm. scream out the full name because you're going to be saying that a lot. <laughs> as your yeah. grows up. <laughs> I've had a few people name their kids this, and I love it. Mm. Um, Augie, Augie for short. Oh yeah. Pretty good guess. That's all I'll say. Oh. Pretty. Pretty good guess, Aaron. Uh, Carol in Rosanna. Good morning. What do you think my son's name's going to be? I think your son will be called Jude. 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 I'm sorry to say it, Carol. I think we've had it. I think we've had it. Have we? I reckon we have. No, we haven't. We haven't. I don't think we've had it. Not on the list, guys. Nah, it's all yours, Carol. You know what, Carol? Maybe that's just because it sounded right in my head. You Mm. know what I mean? It feels like that could be the one. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a nice name. Oh, I've never I've never met a male Jude. No. That is what the, the oh, Jude it, it's Law. about a m- Don't worry. Yep. Yeah. You're not you're not met him though. Don't lie. <laughs> no. Uh Jamie and Seabrook. Uh, what do you think Ben's gonna call um, the kid? <laughs> hey guys, so I'm thinking Theodore and the nickname for that is Teddy. Ted Harvey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although I prefer Theo as a nickname, I think. Yeah. I, yeah, I do like Theo also. I guess there's a few options. <laughs> I try not to reveal too much when we do this, but um, what I would say is um, one of us loved the name Theo and one of us didn't love the name Theo. Well, I think, you know, there is a famous serial killer with that name. Is there? Ted Bundy. Oh, yeah, of course. Ted. Oh, yeah, But true. then Theodore Roosevelt. So, you know. I think he was Edward. Well, he was still Ted, also, he was Ted to his mates and victims. I also so, played. Oh, uh, I also oh. played uh, country footy with a good footballer called Theo. So good, you ha- go. good, good halfback. Yeah, good no, I mean, stock. Theo yeah. is so cute. Good but you stock. know that that's on my list as well when I have a kid. So mm. I'm very happy if you don't steal that one. Uh, Christina joins us now. Good morning, Christina. What do you think my son's name is going to be? I think it might be Shaquille because I know you love basketball. <laughs> I don't really love basketball. <laughs> he's, more oh. a, he's more of a footy guy, Christina. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know yeah. where you got that from, but like... Uh, Christina, I get it. They both like sport. Eh, it's all the same thing. <laughs> I mean, like, I think Ben and I appreciate basketball. If yeah, you had a little shout But I, be I, so... I wasn't watching the Denver Nuggets Miami <laughs> Heat you know, final no, this week. No, no. Uh, Elia joins us now. Uh, what do you think the kid's going to be called? Uh, I think Caleb. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any particular reason? 
Uh, not really. I just like thought Caleb would be a nice name. Yeah, yeah. just getting involved. I like it. Caleb's a nice name. Why guy. not? And and that's still a big name that you have now dibs that's off the list. If it's going to be called Caleb, you'll be getting a call back with their cash at the end of July. Let's go one more before we check your roads. Bethany in Mitcham. Good morning. We're doing baby name bingo. What do you think my son's name is going to be? Good morning. Um, I'm actually going to go with Julius. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> yes. Julius is yes. the name that Liam gave the fake baby. Not a fake baby. It's a fake baby. It's a simulated he gave, son. He gave it to me to simulate having a child. I don't even know where Julius is right now. I, the last, I think he's in the car. Yeah, I, yeah well... That I actually think I saw Julius under the couch this morning in the office. So, and uh, let me tell you this: you're Julius in big trouble if you're love. you're treating uh, your son like Julius, the simulated baby. But you're right, Bethany. It is a it's a strong name, yeah. and, yeah, uh, you and know, it's not a bad name. It's just a bit tainted now. Yes. Uh, all right. Julius. All of those names are now off the list. If you've got a name in mind, make sure you call next time we do baby name bingo. And the latest episode of Bluey is bringing grown men to tears. Specifically, Australian cricketers, um, Ed Cowan and Ian Healy, um, have said that the episode that dropped on Sunday morning, 8am, the newest episode of Bluey, brought them to tears. Um, the entire like seven-minute episode is all about cricket. <laughs> it's it's quite a technical episode. It's as well. very technical. They're talking about like field positions and and and, and the pitches and like the creases. It, it's so this is like for an example, this is like five seconds of the episode. There's a lot of stuff in there like this. Cricket's just about hitting a ball around the grass. Cricket's about more than that, kid. <laughs> Is it? Uh, so, so none of us have kids. No. We're all under 30. So we actually sat down and watched the episode uh, just before, just so we were across it. it look. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. What it- I would say, Bells, you're you're a crier. I would say I'm also a bit of a crier. Ben certainly not. But it, n- none of us were moved to tears. No. Um, but I suppose if you really like cricket, if you genuinely love cricket and you love the ins and outs, and I love the idea. They have a why. diagram. Yeah. In it. Yeah. They put like a diagram of the what do you call it? Cricket pitch. Yeah. 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 I love the idea of like David Boone being. Like, it is more than that, kid. <laughs> you're so right. This is beautiful. <laughs> His dogs really he, get. Me. His moustache is getting all wet. His big handlebar moustache. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what I would love to do this morning is give us a buzz, 13, 24, 10. What made you cry that shouldn't have? Because sometimes there's just something that gets you. And if you're an Australian cricketer and Bluey does a special episode just for you, it might well, evoke an, an emotional response. I get the sport thing. Like, I've cried at sport before. Like, even I'm not the... I remember talking about this, but I'm not the biggest Messi fan in the world. But when he won the World Cup, I was crying because mm. I was like... Wow. Like, mainly like from like what, though? All what the were edits you crying? On, well, he had like a growth hormone deficiency. You know, he had he had struggles in life, but he's, com- you know, he's like the goat. Like, yeah. and he completed it. He overcame all that. That little boy from Rosario, you know? And I was like, wow, that's awesome. Mm. I mean, I can't you give also, you... You also cried um, when the new Star Wars trailer came out. I did. I did. Did um, you really? <laughs> the, when they were first... I didn't even really like the new Disney ones, but The Force Awakens, when... when um, I remember the bit that, like, got me when... Um, like Han Solo is like it's all true. <laughs> like it's in like a yeah, in the trailer and it's like the Force, it's all true. And I was like, oh, <laughs> he finally gets it. <laughs> it's true. It's real. It's magic. It's oh my god. <laughs> I don't know Earth. why. I don't know why, but it tapped into something there in the childhood. What made you cry that shouldn't have? I uh, actually cried the other day. Semi tears of happiness, though. I guess I, uh, as you guys know, we've moved into a new house. And the previous owners put heaps of, like, thick, dark tint on the windows. Mm. And I hated it because it was filtering out all the sunlight. Um, So every time when I got home in the afternoon, it was, like, pretty dark. Mm. And so um, Luke and I started ripping the tint off the windows and the sun started pouring in. And I got really overwhelmed with the difference with the sun coming in. So I... I started crying. So it hit your skin almost as if you were like Nelson Mandela, like walking into the, you know what I mean? Like you've been it's in like prison. It's like I stepped out of prison. Yeah. Like, oh, the sunlight on my face again. <laughs> uh, Danielle in Glen Waverley. Good morning. What made you cry that shouldn't have? Good morning, guys. Um, I went out for breakfast one morning and really, really felt like some pancakes. 
Go to the restaurant and ordered them and missed the cutoff time for breakfast and I started crying. <laughs> started crying because I missed out my pancake. Did they did they see you cry and say, Oh, okay, well, sorry, and make you some or stick to no, it? No. I had to stick with a ham and cheese croissant. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Hitting. Promising that your stomach something and then uh, not getting it does suck. You know what? I feel yeah. bad. Um, what we'll do is, all thanks to show sponsor What If, we'll give you a $50 voucher to go to the Pancake Kitchen. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. No worries at all. D in Craigieburn joins us. Good morning, D. What made you cry that shouldn't have? Good morning, guys. Um, so what made me cry was um, at the time I was uh, 38 weeks pregnant. Um, and it was our wedding anniversary and my husband had bought um, me a gift of Apple Watch and I cried hysterically because um, it wasn't the colour I wanted and the size I wanted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did, he, did he go too big? Was it too big? Or, was or it not... too small? Yeah. He bought me the small one and I wanted the pink one and he bought me a black one. Oh, what a pig. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you pigs. swap it over, oh. Dee? Did you get what you wanted? Yeah, we went straight to JB High Five. Emergency, get her in. Rima and Selena Gomez, Calm Down on Nova 100 with Ben, Lamb and Bell. I really like that song, Ben and Bell. Uh, it's big on TikTok. It's, it is catchy. It's a bit of an earworm. We, well, we know you like it because whenever we play it, you have to do that little dance. Yeah, I, so annoying. You start doing the like, hand yeah. palms, to the sits, palms to the floor <laughs> Yeah, dance. it's because it's the TikTok dance. Don't you guys know the method? <laughs> You should hit the gritty with me one time, Bell. Yeah, it's liberating. Yeah. You're a 27 year old man. Uh, <laughs> no cap. So you know, I still, you know, I'm still on TikTok. Anyway, um, there is one thing that annoys me about it, though. Mm. You know, at the very start, Rima, he says this. Another banger. So, what other bangers do you have, mate? <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? Another banger. Really? I mean, I'm looking. I'm looking at your Spotify now. It's calm down, and then calm down again. This time with Selena Gomez. <laughs> you know what like, I mean? Doesn't um, DJ Khaled says another one? But he does start. have a he few ones. Have. Yeah, so he's allowed. You're to, allowed I would to say, say. If the Beatles started with "Here's another one," you'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> I mean, you've got like a hundred hit songs. You know, I get it. You know. For more great comedy shows like this, head to NovaPodcasts.com. Tom.au